and thank you for joining. It's your girl, Linda Shelton. Now, today we're going to be discussing my 10th week using Ozempic when I lost the weight and it came off. And I just want to go step by step, kind of what happened. Um, I started Ozempic, uh, as you're probably aware, I was pre-diabetic. My doctor put me on it to help with my getting my sugar levels down as well as helping me lose weight. Now, I started it. When I started, I started at 0.25 and it, you know, immediately I, I couldn't eat hardly or didn't have that much of an appetite. And uh, you do that for four weeks, then you bump it up to 5.0. Now, Ozempic has, when I increased it, I was experiencing when I first started it, a little nausea every now and then, depending on what I ate or drink. I was paying attention if I eat something that kind of like had a sugars in it, um, it'll make me a little nauseous, or if it's um, bread or uh, fried food, certain things would make me nauseous. So on that fourth week, and I had to bump up to the 5.0, I did start experiencing a little bit more nausea. That lasted a couple weeks. Then it started subsiding. When I started, I took my next um, my next couple of shots to get me up to my 10th week. I had no side effects at that point. And I just wanna tell you, Ozempic has been a wonder medication for me in terms of helping me manage my sugar levels as well as losing the weight, uh, keeping it off. I uh, do monitor uh, what I'm eating, of course. You have to, whether you take a bariatric surgery or whatever, but it does help with your appetite, and that's the main thing that, you know, you just really can't eat a whole lot, or at least I couldn't. I just eat a little small portion of food, Matter of fact, they tell you, you know, you only really need to eat about this much food, and that's pretty much all I could hold. Um, my stomach has uh, decreased in size, I can tell, because that's about what I eat. I can eat like uh, a little junior burger, and that's going to fill me up and have a little water or something like that, and that's a good little lunch for me. Um, junior burger with cheese if I if I chose to have that I'm just giving you an idea so a junior burger is really about a little bit bigger than my fist and I'm gonna be full and that's how I really you know lost the weight and just kind of learning how to keep my portions down sometimes it's a little difficult when you go out to eat because they give you so much food but what i end up doing is eating like a portion of that food and then bringing the rest home so i might have that food for you know lunch and then come home and have it later for dinner uh, so i make it two meals because again with this medication you're your appetite is going to decrease tremendously, or at least it did for me. And again, going back to the side effects, uh, guys, I wouldn't worry too much about the side effects because everyone's different. Um, I know it was one medication that I had that a doctor told me the same thing that you can't always go by the side effects because they're these, you know, the the ones for a Zempic, especially because they're very minimal. It's more gastro problems and like I said I did have some of the I experienced it but it was very minimal and once I stayed on the medication and didn't give up they it subsided you know so I don't have those type of problems the only time I might experience it is eating something real bad say if I ate um, uh, some chicken, fried chicken or something like that, something real greasy, and then wash it down with a soda, and then later have another soda, I might feel a little sick at the stomach. But other than that, I'm not just walking around feeling sick at the stomach like I did at the, the beginning, having that nauseous feeling. But overall, I feel great. Um, things are working out. I'm continuing to lose weight. Uh, again, at the 10... 10 week point, I was down 20 points and 
it, you know, again, it feels great because you're lighter on your feet, you're eating um, less food, and you know, you have to look at, for me, I was even considering um, bariatric surgery or the, the lap band or something because I knew I had to do something. And this has just been a godsend to me that I can lose the weight and do it in a different format to where I don't have to go to surgery and spend tens of thousands of dollars, not knocking anyone that does that. But for me, that's been a great help and I appreciate this invention and it has um, done so much for a lot of people and I've seen people and communicated with people. My sister's lost a lot of weight on um, with Kobe and she's doing well, keeping the weight off. And I've seen other people lose over a hundred pounds using this medication. And that's where I like to be. That's eventually long-term and over a year's time, uh, that's where my ideal goal will be. But right now I'm very pleased at where I'm at. I am still um, mentally, it, you know, it triggers in your head that you're full all the time. So that helps me a lot to where I think when I do come off of it, my stomach and my mind will be set to where I'm not dependent on the food as much as I used to be. And I realize that I can just eat a little small portion or that little junior burger that I was just talking about. So I do wanna thank you for joining. I, if you haven't already, consider um, subscribing to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. And also leave me a comment. I like to know how you're doing. Um, so see you on the next video. Peace.